Hello everybody, this is Talon with another Nutrition Tier List, a series where I break down all the options in a given food group and rank them based on how nutritious they are and how good they are for your health. Today we're going over milks. Animal milks, plant milks, pretty much anything that's a thing, followed by the word milk. Unfortunately, there are a ton of plant milks out there, several of which I could not for the life of me find sufficient information on, so let's go ahead and take a moment of silence for those. Okay, that's long enough. Fortunately, I am going to be able to cover the most widely used plant milks pretty thoroughly. Now traditionally, in terms of nutrition, milk is known for a few things. Being high in protein, fat, and containing a specific sugar called lactose, as well as several micronutrients like calcium, phosphorus, and certain B vitamins. It's been a staple of certain diets for millennia. Among adults, yes, but obviously also among children. And before you all ask, no I am not covering breast milk. That's weird. Y'all are weird. That being said, over the years, milk has had its fair share of controversy surrounding it, especially in regards to its fatty acid profile, some of the hormones that it contains, and the effects of pasteurization and lack thereof. And of course, the fact that the overwhelming majority of the population doesn't handle lactose perfectly. Thus, over the years, plant milks have slowly been gaining popularity, attempting to mimic the taste, texture, and nutrition of animal milk to varying degrees of success. And some seem to just go off and do their own thing nutritionally, and just use the word milk. By the way, if you're wondering how you milk a plant, I am too. Fortunately, that's not what this video is about. No, this video is all about what the milks have to offer once they're already in your body. So, looking at the tiers for this video, we're going to be comparing the nutritional content and benefits of each milk against any shortcomings or health concerns that they may have. Keep in mind that these lists are ranked independent of each other, so an A-tier milk may not equate to an A-tier meat or an A-tier fruit. All numerical nutritional information on this list will be based on 8 fluid ounces, roughly 240 milliliters, your standard cup size, of the individual drink for the sake of consistency and ease of comparison. But I think I've milked this intro for all of its runtime, so let's just get into the list. First on this list we've got almond milk. Almond milk is a very low calorie drink with a solid micronutrient profile. It's probably the best liquid source of vitamin E, an antioxidant that protects cells from free radical damage, notably benefiting skin and heart health. It's also a good source of calcium and is often fortified with vitamin D. Almond milk is typically one of the least sugary options on this list, making it very low in calories as well. However, it also lacks protein, an essential nutrient that is commonly expected in most milks. Thus, it fails to replicate animal milk, but that doesn't really seem to be the intention anyways. Overall, almond milk is a fairly inoffensive choice and a rich provider of certain nutrients. I'm going to put it in the B tier. Buffalo milk is a higher calorie drink with a respectable micronutrient content. First off, buffalo milk is more fatty than even whole cow milk at roughly 17 grams per cup, about 150 calories from fat alone. Now we know fat is necessary for brain and nervous system function, but another advantage of this fat over cow milk is that it allows for a higher antioxidant content as well, notably in the form of fat-soluble vitamins A and E and certain phenolic compounds. Buffalo milk is also notably higher in protein per gram than cow's milk, with both casein and whey having notable unique benefits. It's a great source of calcium, phosphorus, and vitamin B12, but is a good source of several other micros as well. Buffalo milk also typically contains more conjugated linoleic acid, a naturally occurring trans fat that's shown to aid with fat loss. And the milk that comes from buffalo is more likely to be from a grass-fed source. Now obviously, if you're lactose intolerant or allergic to milk protein, this might not be the best choice for you. And there's no denying that the calories can add up very quickly, but if you can account for those, buffalo milk is a shining example of what a nutritious milk should be. I'm going to put it in the A tier. Camel milk is a lower calorie drink with an impressive micronutrient profile. Being lower in calories, it is comparatively lower in protein, fat, and sugar than most of the other animal milks on this list, but it is among the best sources of protein per calorie on this list. It's notably the best source on this list of vitamin B1, which helps mainly in converting carbohydrates into energy, and it's also a solid source of vitamin B12 and calcium. Camel milk is shown to improve insulin sensitivity and have antibacterial and antiviral benefits. The main issue with camel milk is that it's usually not pasteurized and when consumed raw, it has a bit of a history containing organisms that can cause infections or diseases. It's generally advised that if you're going to drink camel milk, try to get it pasteurized, or at the very least be aware of the conditions of the source. But other than that, camel milk makes a name for itself as the lower calorie choice while not sacrificing the essential milk nutrients. And for that, it's going to go in the A tier. 
Chocolate milk is typically a higher calorie drink with a solid micronutrient profile. And chocolate milk is usually just cow's milk, typically whole or reduced fat, but with a lot more sugar. It does still contain all of the milk staples though, notably a hefty amount of protein, fat, and micros like calcium, phosphorus, vitamin B12, and it's usually still fortified with vitamin D. So the bone health, antioxidant, and CLA benefits are still there. Chocolate milk is often used as a post-workout recovery drink due to being higher in protein and especially sugars. But it's not really proven to be any better at this than any other drink with these same nutrients. Obviously, the same rules of lactose intolerance and milk allergies still apply here. And if you're not paying attention, all that sugar can definitely add up and contribute to a whole host of problems. But if this is the only way you'll drink milk, or if you're drinking it post-workout, or just want a palate change, chocolate milk definitely still has its merit. I'm gonna put it in the C tier. Coconut milk is an exorbitantly high calorie drink with a straight up great micronutrient profile. The majority of its calories come from fat, mainly the saturated fatty acid lauric acid, just to like in regular coconuts. Lauric acid and coconut's other medium-chain triglycerides are shown to aid with weight loss due to being used more for energy. Coconut milk is the best source per gram on this list of fiber, manganese, copper, iron, selenium, magnesium, potassium, and zinc. And coconut milk is shown to improve overall cholesterol levels, reduce inflammation, and have antiviral and antibacterial benefits. Now, all of this is somewhat balanced out by how calorically dense it is, but in moderation, coconut milk is a nutritious choice that I'm going to put in the B tier. Cow milk is a varying calorie drink with a solid micronutrient profile across the board. While most variants of cow's milk maintains the same amounts of protein and sugar, the variety comes from the fat concentration, the most caloric macronutrient, with whole milk having roughly 3.25% fat, reduced fat having 2%, low fat having 1%, and skim having next to none. And this does make a pretty dramatic caloric difference. They're all a great source of vitamin B2, vitamin B12, phosphorus, calcium, and when fortified, which it often is, vitamin D. In fact, milk's micronutrients are fairly consistent regardless of fat content due to them often being added back in when the fat is taken out. This makes skim milk the best source on this list per calorie of protein and the all-essential vitamin B12. Cow milk is also a solid source of conjugated linoleic acid, and is notable for its ease of branched-chain amino acid consumption. Of course, cow milk isn't for everyone, especially those with lactose intolerance or a milk protein allergy. And this may seem a bit convenient because cow milk is the most widely consumed in much of the world, but I ran the numbers several times and found it to be consistently the most nutritious per calorie in almost every relevant aspect. Especially skim milk, but as long as you account for the extra calories, there's a bit of freedom in which one you choose. Resting assured that fat is still necessary, and that it's going to be a very nutritious pick regardless. This all to say, I'm going to put cow milk in the top tier. Goat milk is an average calorie drink with a solid micronutrient profile. It typically contains a bit more protein and fat than whole cow's milk, and is higher in phosphorus, calcium, and potassium, while still being a good source of vitamin B2 and vitamin D. Goat milk also contains conjugated linoleic acid, and still has the unique protein benefits associated with whey and casein. And it's higher in oligosaccharides, a notable prebiotic aiding gut bacteria. I think at this point it goes without saying that if you have lactose intolerance or a milk allergy, this might not be the best choice for you. But overall, goat milk is still a great milk, and it's going to go in the A tier. Hemp milk is a lower calorie drink with a decent micronutrient profile. It's typically very low in carbohydrates, lower than almost every other option on this list. So the majority of its calories come from fat and protein, and it's a decent source of protein per calorie and considered a complete one at that. And hemp milk also contains a solid amount of omega-3s, aiding inflammation prevention. Hemp milk is a solid source of phosphorus and calcium and is often fortified with vitamins A and D. A perfectly fine choice that just has a bit less to offer than other plant milks on this list. I'm going to put hemp milk in the C tier. Oat milk is an average calorie drink with a solid micronutrient profile. It's typically enriched with various micronutrients like calcium, phosphorus, potassium, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin B2, and vitamin B12. Oat milk is overall shown to be beneficial for bone health and is shown to lower LDL cholesterol levels. And oat milk has the benefit of being free of several common allergens, like dairy, soy, and nuts, which make up the majority of everything else that has the word milk in it. Now, certain brands of oat milk may be high in added sugars, and oat milk is very low in protein compared to many milk variants. 
But as a whole, it's a perfectly fine choice that I'm going to put in the C tier. Unsweetened pea milk is a lower calorie drink with a decent micronutrient profile. Now the most noteworthy point to mention about pea milk is that when unsweetened, it has little to no sugar, something I can't say about most of the options on this list. The most important point, however, is that pea milk is a great source of protein, especially per calorie. Its protein per quantity is comparable to that of animal milks. And on top of that, pea protein is also rich in branched-chain amino acids, so it's commonly used for plant-based protein supplementation. Some pea milks also contain oil from marine algae, which provides some omega-3s which have various health functions. It's often fortified with vitamin B12, calcium, and vitamin D, and is a decent source of iron. Now, pea milk is not without drawback, or at the very least exceptions to its benefits. Many pea milk brands are not unsweetened and do contain varying amounts of added sugars. But if you make it at home, you won't get the added micronutrients that store variants are fortified with. And the biggest draw of pea milk, the protein, is shown to typically not be as bioavailable as the protein in animal milk. Still, the right pea milk can have a lot to offer. And if you're looking for a plant-based option to truly replicate the nutrition of animal milks, this is one of your best bets. All that to say, I'm going to put pea milk in the B tier. Rice milk is an average calorie drink with a fair micronutrient content. It's a good source of manganese and is often fortified with calcium, vitamin B12, vitamin D, and vitamin A. And rice milk is probably the least likely of all milk products to flare up any allergies. But that's about all I can say positively about this one. It's very high in sugar and practically non-existent in its protein content, so I'm not even really sure why it's called milk. It's not the absolute worst drink in the world, but compared to other milks, rice milk is going to be going in the D tier for disgrace. Sheep milk is a higher calorie drink with an impressive micronutrient profile. Sheep milk boasts a grand 15 grams of protein and 17 grams of fat per cup, making it easily the most protein-dense option on this list. It's the best source per gram of vitamin B12, vitamin B2, and phosphorus, and it's an excellent source of calcium as well. And sheep milk also provides the antioxidants, fat, and CLA benefits other animals do, just amped up to 11. Obviously, if you're lactose intolerant or allergic to milk protein, this is still a no-go. But if you're looking for the most nutrient-dense glass of liquid you've ever had in your entire life, look no further than sheep milk. I'm going to put it in the A tier. Soy milk is an average calorie drink with a pretty good micronutrient profile. It's another one of those plant-based milks that actually has a protein content comparable to that of animal milks, at about 8 grams per cup. Soy milk is a solid source of copper, manganese, selenium, iron, and vitamin B6, and is often fortified with your usual milk micros. It's also shown to combat chronic inflammation and improve cholesterol levels. Now, if you have a soy allergy, this is obviously not the right choice for you and many brands of soy milk do contain added sugars. And soy in general has been believed to tamper with testosterone and estrogen levels, though the evidence on this is fairly inconsistent. But if you don't want to put that to the test, then there's 12 more milks on this list for you to choose from. As a whole, soy is probably the most nutritious plant milk out there, and it's going to be rounding out our list in the B tier. And there you have it. Milk. The only naturally occurring beverage that will always be a regular part of society and will always be controversial. Maybe it's because it's the first thing most of us ever consumes, but we just can't seem to put down the milk. We like it so much that even when we decide we don't like it anymore, we still try to replicate it. Fortunately for most people, milk is pretty good for you, being perhaps the most convenient and complete nutrient package on the market. And while realistically nothing is going to touch animal milks anytime soon, there are some pretty nutritious plant milks out there too, some of which with their own unique benefits. Milk in general isn't for everyone, but for the majority of people who can drink it without issue, they should be enjoying it. Now if you enjoyed this video, or at the very least learned a little something, I encourage you to subscribe because there's plenty more of these on the way. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments which food group you think I should make a tier list for next. And remember that all I ask is that you do your own research and advocate for your body. You only get the one.